Welcome to Manga Recaps, the channel which is intended to help you better understand the manga and save your time from the lengthy or even boring ones. The story begins with a 19-year-old boy called Howie, who appears to be a normal student that doesn't show desire for anything except to continue with his quiet and boring life until one day in his class. The school beauty called Shaw thinks that Howie is the father of the child she is expecting, but he claims he doesn't even know. The news upsets him, and on top of that, his classmates begin to hate him as they're jealous, so he tries to escape. But out of nowhere, he meets this hot athletic girl called Tang, who angrily tells him that she found out what happened with Shaw. She seems heartbroken and claims him for being a heartthrob. But again, how he is utterly confused as he doesn't, and had never spoken to her before, so he doesn't know what's going on. He has the whole school behind him when he meets a third bureau called Lin, who looks like the cute nerd, and she tells him that his two children at home miss him. How he is totally confused as he doesn't know who these girls are. And on top of that, no one else believes him. He escapes from the situation and ends up on the roof where the students corner him so much that he has no choice but to jump. But just when he thought he was going to die, a girl called me who is a Cupid appears and saves him and explains what has happened. Days ago, how he ate these special chocolates and the people who consume it begin to gain false memories of love. Which explains why the three girls suddenly have these stories with how she explains that the only way to break the curse is to fulfill the deepest desire of each girl. He starts with Sean, who is sad since she thought that how he died after having jumped from. However, we all know what happened. He goes back to her to apologize and takes her to get a pregnancy test, which comes back negative, how he is over the moon about the result. However, Shaw says that she will do her best to get pregnant next time, which leaves him even more dumbfounded. He decides to take her home where he discovers some things like that. She lives alone, most of the time in a man, since her father spends all his time at work. How he gets a little brave and rudely tells Shaw's father over the phone that he got his daughter pregnant. When he arrives, it's clear to see he is a very wealthy and important businessman. However, how he is unfazed and tells him that no matter how much material things he can provide his daughter, she is too lonely and needs her father. Shaw's eyes filled with tears of joy after seeing how you stand up to her father, and we see that he gets through to him, which was enough to fulfill her deepest desire making the false memories of love. She had disappear. However, the next day, Shaw asks how you to go on a date with her, which confuses him since he thought her memories have been erased. However, May informs him that a normal memory cannot be wiped. Therefore, everything that happened at Shaw's home, she can never. So she ends up falling in love with him, how he reluctantly accepts her date. And although it seemed that everything was getting calmer, his childhood friend called Ion comes out of nowhere. We find out that she had always been obsessed with Howie and it had nothing to do with the Cuban chocolates. She kisses him in front of everyone, as she wants, shot to know how. The situation leaves shock, quite anxious, so she confirms with Howie, if they're still on for the date, which they are while walking up the stairs, Tang, ambushes, how he slaps him, telling him that they're breaking up. He tells her with that attitude, no one will like her, and she storms off May appears, and how he asks her, if simply breaking up with the girls would solve everything. She says, he knows nothing about, and when a girl says we're breaking up, it is merely a warning, how he still plans to go on the date with Shaw, and when the big day arrives, they ended up enjoying it. They even go to an anime convention where they meet again with Tak in which they discover that despite her strong appearance, she has a secret hobby as a cosplay girl and hides it as she doesn't want to lose the respect from people at school. However, she had always dreamed of winning the competition that is held every, which requires three participants, so Shaw says they will help her. How he is not too fond of the idea as he doesn't want to dress in women's attire. However, it seems he doesn't have a choice in the matter as they force him into a cosplay Kangos to change, but finds her costume had been ruined in an attempt to sabotage her. So she breaks down and leaves how he looks for a way to carry out the competition. And when he got stage, he gives a speech from the heart about Tang saying that she doesn't have to hide parts of herself or give importance to anyone who criticizes her, and that the real her is beautiful. Tanglin then falls from the catwalk, and with this epic entrance, they save the competition. And when Shaw begins to feel insecure since how you share is a beautiful moment with Tang. However, she keeps it to herself, how he is free for the moment and takes the opportunity to focus on his studies since, to be the best in the class as he was. When he was little, he would always compete with Ion, but he always took first place, at least until high school where he started letting her win, so she wouldn't be bothering him all the time. However, he wants to return to his former glory, so he proposes a bet to Tang and the other girls in the sports club, in which the winner can ask the loser to do anything without question, and the condition is just one of them have to score higher than him in the next midterm tests. How he is very confident, even after giving them a huge advantage. He studies non-stop and he uses the help of his teacher. Here, we see how Tang and Shell begin to feel alone as they would like to spend more time with Howie. However, he focuses on himself and on the day of the exam. He ends up coming first in the whole school is how he wins the bet. 
Ten must obey whatever he asks of her. He tells her she has to wear a main cosplay for two weeks because he thinks that this will show them, and indeed it makes her very happy, fulfilling her deepest desire and lifting Cupid's curse. However, the last girl appears who supposedly, as I mentioned at the beginning has two children with Howie, which turned out to actually be real created by her false memories where, how he plays with them. He decides that he must find it, solve the situation with Lin. So we accompanied her to her house where he meets Lin's mother. It seems she also has false memories of him and is angry since he hadn't returned in days. However, she invites him inside and they all eat together. How he receives a call from Sha in which he proposes a date for. He ends up accepting. However, Lin proposes a walk with the children that same day and since how he is so intelligent instead of setting the dates on different days, he agrees to make both plans that Sunday. The two girls are very excited about the dates and when the day arrives, how he divides them. He shares a few hours with his new family, where he plays with the children and takes them to a theme park. But it is not long before he has to meet with Shaw, so he leaves his kids with their mother and is reunited with Shaw, with whom he shares real chemistry with. They take photos and go to the park, and while they're there, Sean tends to propose to Howie. Even with a kiss, he ends up leaving her alone when May appears once. Howie is still confused to why the school beauty likes him and still thinks it has something to do with the chocolates. However, May confirms that it doesn't and her current feelings for him are real how he returns to Lin and the children spending the afternoon with them and takes them to eat where we discover that Lin has daddy issues that she does not like to talk about. So how do you look for ways to discover that? In order to fulfill her deepest desire and lift the curse, a teacher from Lin's old school tells him that she used to be very happy as a child, and when her father took her to school, she was very attentive. But out of nowhere, he never came back. And ever since then, she has had this longing sadness, how he searches for Lin's father with the help of his brother who works in the police. He obtains some phone numbers that are possibly his, he tries them all, and the last one ends up being Lin's father, who turns out to be a successful businessman, how he confronts him for abandoning his. But it is revealed that he is not her real father and that he was just with the mother for a while. This leaves Howie quite confused. He asks the mother about the situation, but she doesn't tell him anything. However, the gossipy neighbor informs how Yu Island's father is not around. He discovers that she was married a long time ago with an officer who died shortly after their wedding, which of course left her devastated. However, she met a businessman who wanted to take care of, but after a short time, their families had too many big disagreements, so they ended up breaking off the relationship, leaving Lin with a deep sadness for her father. After finding all this out, how he gets quite upset because there is not much he can do. But after reflecting, he tries to convince the businessman that he should return to them, but his attempt is useless, how he gets frustrated but comes down and decides to spend time with Lin and the children for the time being however. A car accident suddenly occurs, which ends up being Barry, and Lin is taken to the hospital. They quickly notify the adoptive father who quickly arrives to the hospital, realizing that Lin is fine, and without a scratch, since the one who received the impact was Howie, who ended up selflessly saving Lin. But not everything was bad, and we see a reunion between the stepfather, which served to finally fulfill her deepest desire. How he is in a dreamlike state, where he says goodbye to the children, since the curse was finally broken. And when he wakes up, Lin is accompanying him. So in the end, how do you manage this to fulfill the wishes of the first three girls? Because what he didn't know is that there are three other girls who also tried the chocolate. But that will be for another season for now. Everyone ends up, and we are left with a girl shouting the name of the protagonist announcing what is to come. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe because we upload weekly.